Oh, uh, we're two sensible people. Do not let those drop on your toes. <laughs> I'm putting a load of buckets out. So there's a reason I'm putting it here. This here is actually a hard track that runs up the farm. So it doesn't matter that they're getting it muddy because at no point do we need to plough it or you know what I mean, do anything with it. We don't even mow it. So I'm putting enough of these out so it stops any kind of bullying and they absolutely love them. Tell you what, these clean lambs are just a different Having cladding put on. Last week, when he asked me out on a date, forgot to mention I had to pay. Money ain't the only thing that he won't spend. And he starts working his old tracks. Well, takes it with my best friend. And I'll go the arms. More trouble than he's worth. More trouble. Beautiful, beautiful. This is looking so snazzy. Yes, isn't it great? Super, super impressed. He like heat forms the corners and stuff. Like so, there's no, there's no like. Yes, this is great. This is really, really cool. I love it. We are under storm conditions, people. We're very impressed with this cladding for the tank room though, very impressed. This needs to be done before the tank goes in. So he's got to come back tomorrow and do the ceiling and then those end ones will have to be formed uh, against this wall. So we're just leaving it until the tank gets put in. But yeah, really, really provisionally, obviously, because we've not actually seen it work as such. But yeah, really impressed with it. You do have to have a bit of a reality check when you realise it's not just a farm, it's a place of food production. Like, we've been very used to ranching kind of cows, if you know what I mean, sheep. It's not necessarily, um, you know, high tech. Whereas, yeah, things have got to change. So yeah, honestly, really neat job. Really, really neat job. Um, I'll put all the guys' details in for anybody who wants them. I chose the colour, personally. It is like an off-white elephant grey kind of thing. I didn't want stark white and I definitely didn't want that dairy blue, which is pretty much the same colour as what um, Alcathene is, or this strip here. Um, that's just the cover that's on it. But yeah, very, very impressed. Okay, um, the other day I took part in a campaign by RSABI, uh, Royal Scottish Agricultural Benevolent Institution, if you wondered, and it was called Keep Talking. Obviously, it's backwards to you, but that says keep talking. It says hashtag keep talking. I just wanted to show my support for that. I am, we're not so many miles off the border, I know. Um, and yes, I have completely um, chopped the top off one of their hats to make it into a headband, but I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Talking. Okay. I said keep talking. Not you talking. Other people to keep talking, just not you. Are you okay? Are you okay now? Yeah. You are the cutest little dot, aren't you? Yes, you're doing well for a tiny baby. Hey, tiny baby. Really randomly, I um, I grabbed some pen and strap out and it was in the back of the fridge. It was a brand new bottle. It has been there for an awful long time, still in date, 
But apparently, you can't get it anymore. Well, I actually didn't know this. Um, this is news to me. We have never used so little medication when not calving cows. It's crazy how little we've used. So, with no exaggeration, this lambing time, I will have used probably eight mils of medication. That's it. In uh, from everything, um, store cattle. They don't use anything. Anything. When they're little um, and they're on, you know, they're, they're being fed milk and stuff. Um, pneumonia is obviously an issue and you do use a little bit then. But apart from that, you know how big the bullocks are now. You've seen them. We're selling them. You know, they're, you know, 15 months old kind of thing. We have literally used nothing because we haven't been calving cows. It's crazy. We've cut right down on medication, which actually is a good... Um, did just come in and, and point at his belly button the apart from pneumonia two cases of pneumonia wasn't it the only other ones that were to medicate heavily were um navel suckers um they we had two or three didn't we that were just navel suckers they were an absolute pain in the ass but yeah they were to medicate apart from that god we've been light on it so yeah that every a, a few people have asked how have i managed to get hold of it i haven't managed to get hold of it we've just had it that long and it was a brand new bottle in the fridge and we just haven't used it so yeah that's why incidentally why is it why can't you get hold of it what's the crack with yes, it just tidy in the porch yes i do do domestic tasks as well thank you um just a joke i was just moving these just thought i'd give them another plug because we've been using the bobcat to lift panels troughs channels anything you can think of that's bloody heavy we've been using it and it hasn't failed at all and you saw that tire it was to blow up every single day so this stuff works 100 percent. i'm gonna get a big thing of it and literally put it in every tire we've got because it is so worth it so 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 worth it especially that um trailer there because the tires are always going down on that it doesn't work if it's the side walls apparently it only works if it's the you know that bit but yeah we'll soon see we'll soon see 100% works yes would recommend just trying to put the panels down this side of the building there's a long way to go and there's a divorce impending I'm telling you like it ain't happening working together today it just ain't happening Sunday dinner's in. We've got that much done. And I've got a mule lamb in, so I'm going to go do that. the colours. All of the colours. We are transshipping animals and they're all going to run on me. Seven? Uh, yeah, I know, I'm looking for seven, but they're all going to come tearing well, out. Just come back and I'll put one there. Yeah, good idea. Rose's going to do it because they're just all going to hair out on me. Well done. So we're using Holby's wagon, but it can't fit in here. So we need to put them in our wagon, take them out onto the road, and then when that wagon sets off in that direction, we're going to set off in that direction with some cows to Carlisle.
sweating me. Have a go. Press that Press one. Up. Right, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Right, wait. Ready? Are you ready? No way. Have I broken it? All right, that's all right then. Feel the power. Do you feel powerful every day? No. <laughs> Come on, little ones. Right to Darlington. So in here we've got all of the passports um, and they're going with them to the auction. Obviously Roy sorted them all out and tied them all up so I can't really show you them. Something. Come on there girls. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You got me in your sights. Go on, girls. Just at the auction. So we're just, this is Carlisle H&H &H auction. So they are doing, selling straw. <laughs> that is like the best trailer I've ever seen. I don't, oh, it's full of it. It says it's all hay. There's not a bill of straw in sight. <laughs> Shows how short straw is. Where did ours come from? Not Norfolk. Ours came from Norfolk. Somewhere, somewhere around here. Oh, look. Oh, can we have a look? Could make use of that though, that porter grip thing there. Oh, it's not a porter grip, but blue one. Is that a cond of engineering hopper? Is it? It is! How did you spot that? Pet lambs going for sale. Pet lambs going for sale. Oh, they're carrying them in. I can't cope. It's just not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Ah! <laughs> it's just amazing. This man with his pet lambs is making my day. Roy won't let me go. Everybody hate Roy. Somebody's dropping cards, aren't they? Going to, we're going to Harrison Street June. <laughs> right, this is Harrison Street here, but I don't know which I think it's in that direction, but don't count me on that's it. That's 47. It's here. Well, that's 46. Well, no, don't. You don't get stuck. I go down there. That's in 60. It's up there. Right, we'll park down here. Just park on this dirt. June. Go forward. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the type of 
place you take your truck to keys out. But yeah, it was stuck down Harrison Street. Actually terrifying what have you done? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that Harrison Street wasn't in. Really, really upset. Three animals left on. There's three in the bottom, one there, one in here, and one in there. That's it. That is it. And a, a, a shed full of dairy things at our house, but they don't count, do they? We've come to we've come to visit my screen show. We've come to visit Tom Pemberton on a super top secret mission. And I've discovered my friend. <laughs> this is Hugo. <laughs> I don't know what Hugo's doing walking around a cubicle shed, but I am here for it. I am here for Hugo. Don't don't bite those, they're expensive. Thank you. Come on, Hugo. <laughs> So when we chose our cubicles, it was either gonna be these um, easy fix ones or the male ones we went for and we decided <laughs> I don't think this is how the shed's designed Hugo. It's not really designed for you. <laughs> um originally I really liked these mattresses, like really like them, but um I obviously also really like the male ones and one of the swinging factors was they did not make these um, jersey sized and everything that we bought was jersey sized so, so yeah that was pretty much determined for us which one we went with because the the cubicles that we have bought were actually if you look at the size of these Hugo I'm trying to video man if you look at the actual size of these as of everything is smaller everything is designed for a jersey and I don't think these guys did this I was a fan of this. Like, oh, it's hard. Oh, it isn't soft. I thought it was. That does surprise me. But yeah, I was a fan of this. I always thought it looked really cool. But actually, it would have been too wide for what we want. Because all of, obviously our cubicles are a lot narrower because they're made for smaller cows. They're made for cows like Hugo. <laughs> Really? <laughs> so me and Roy are just on our way back um, from Tom Pems, possibly along the most bumpy road in the entire world. I have never been across such a bumpy road. Possibly the best milkshake I have ever tasted. It is super nice. But, but the take home message of the day from the ginger warrior himself was real silage is made in the pit and not in the field. And I think Carl Wilson will second that. I'm looking at this out now and I'm going Rio Green, Rio Green, Rio Green. Like, where, why have I been to Rio Green? It's not, it's on all the wearing sheds, isn't it? It says it on, on all our sheds. Like, not all of them, obviously, but one or two of them. Okay, so I'm home. Thank you very much for watching what possibly was one of the most crazy videos I have ever made. I probably stretched from Carlisle, Darlington, and uh, Lytham, St. Anne's. 
like that was the most well-traveled video I have ever done. So if you got to the end of that, you deserve a medal. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Love you long time and I'll see you next time.